Hi, my name is Christine McKay with Northridge Publishing, and I'm so excited today because we have Jana Eubank with us, and she was featured as a designer highlight in our premier issue of the Cricut Magazine. Now, Jana, you, I, I don't want to embarrass you, but you know, we, we actually, I actually ran into Jana a few months ago, and I just had to tell her, I had to gush of what she, you, the, she were just one of my favorite designers. So I was so excited when I got to have you come today and talk to you a little bit. You're so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wanted to talk about just a couple of the, the layouts that were featured in the magazine, and let's okay. start over here. Okay. When we take a look at this, I kind of want to know, get in your head a little bit, like, what inspired you, and how do you get started when you decide you're going to do a layout? You know, uh, it, it's different for me every single time. Sometimes I start with the photo, and sometimes I start with the paper and the products, or, or just what I'm in the mood to do. But for this particular event, I started with my photos, and it happened to be, it's one of my favorite times of the year. It's the, the time we go to the pumpkin patch with my family. And my kids aren't really excited about the fact that mom has her camera out taking oh, a gajillion photos and everyone's watching, but it's <laughs> my favorite time. <laughs> so for this page, I just wanted to capture those fall colors and um, the leaves falling and th those kinds of things. It was a lot of fun to do. That is awesome. Okay, so now this one on the end, I absolutely love the photographs in this layout. Oh, thanks. This is my parents, actually, when they were dating in high school, and uh, they were engaged about a year after that. So they were little high school sweethearts, and it was a lot of fun. Now, when you first brought that in and I saw the paper, I didn't recognize it. And usually I'm pretty good yeah. about recognizing different lines. And I and I asked, I said, where, where did you get this paper? That's right. This is from the Cricut Imagine Ancestry cartridge, and it's a, it's a pattern and color cartridge that is made for your Imagine, and you can print out any as many sheets as you want of this paper. But this, these particular patterns were designed by Cosmo Cricut, and I just love um, all the different patterns and the pop of red. It was really fun to work with. And one thing that was exciting for me, and, and, and not only just you know this particular layout, but the magazine as well, is that it really gives me all sorts of inspiration and ideas for products I already have. Definitely. Because um, I actually, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have that. Yeah. And I'd never really even noticed that one. So I'm really excited. Yeah. Good, good. Okay, so the last layout I wanted to take a look at was this one right here, because I think it just kind of shows what a wide range of style that you have. Oh, thanks. You're so good at doing kind of the fun, the trendy, more of the eclectic or vintage, but I love the little pop of whimsy on this one. Yes, this was fun to do. I um, use, these cute shapes are by My Mind's Eye, and I use, they're actually from the Halloween line, but I took them and made it everyday page with, which is really fun to do. I created this shape, this large shape on my Cricut and anchored everything together and then just added that little those chipboard accents and some twine and it was a lot of fun. I, I love it because it, it's I love to do something different once in a while it it kind of it kind of stretches your mind and your imagination. Is there one particular style that, that you find that you are always drawn back to or that's your favorite? Yes I am drawn to shabby vintage type layouts and um, I love to add just a little bit of whimsy in there, something to make it playful, to make it fun. That's great. So Jana, tell me a little bit about your involvement with the Provo Craft Circle. Yes, I am the blog design team coordinator for the Cricut Circle, and um, the Cricut Circle is a membership program, and you can uh, subscribe to it for either a quarter or for a year. You can find out more information about that on Cricut.com. But one of the, the features that I'm over is the blog, and we do a six-day post blog and, and I manage a team of 12 awesome designers where they're constantly putting together some fabulous ideas using the Cricut machine. So it's just another place to find more great inspiration. Right. Well, to find out more about um, the Cricut Circle, you can go to provocraft.com. And I have to say, with all the clubs and memberships out there, I think that one is one of the ones that provides the most for your money because, I mean, you guys are over the top with what you offer to your circle members and it's really a neat thing to be a part of. It is. It really is. Lots of fun perks. So you can um, check out Gianna's blog there or for more great tips and tricks you can also check out the Cricut magazine you can go to northridgepublishing.com to get your very own subscription today